Dina opened the door carefully, trying not to make any noise with her key, and tiptoed into the apartment. The hope that her husband was already asleep was immediately dispelled. The kitchen light was on and dishes were clinking. Oh, and I just decided to have a snack. Gleb looked out from behind the door. Shall I make you a sandwich? Her husband looked so nice and homely in the elephant pajamas that Dina had given him for his last birthday. No, thanks, I'm not hungry. She averted her eyes, I'm tired. I'm going to shower and sleep. Of course, darling. Rest, her husband disappeared into the kitchen, and Dina suddenly felt disgusted with herself. Perhaps if her husband shouted and swore, was jealous and did some nasty things, she would not have such feelings, but Gleb was not like that. He was almost an ideal husband, understanding, loving, ready to support in a difficult moment, so perfect that it made Dina feel even worse. The young woman closed herself in the shower. However, the cool water washing her body could not wash away someone else's touch from it. It seemed to Dina that they were imprinted in her firmly, that her husband would immediately notice them and understand everything. Realize she was cheating on him. Dina sighed. If Gleb wasn't so perfect, at least she'd have an excuse. Anna's husband, for example, doesn't work, lies on the couch or plays on the computer. A friend herself pulls the family, is engaged in the house and son, at the same time working two jobs. Of course, she has the perfect excuse to cheat. True, she has neither time nor strength for it. Gleb works and earns perfectly, fully providing for the family. He, on the contrary, offered Dina to leave work and sit at home, bringing up her daughter. However, the young woman refused. She wanted to self-realize not only as a wife and mother. And again, Gleb supported her decision did not insist on anything, or as Olga, a former classmate, whose husband walks right and left, she also has reason to answer him in the same way. But Oli has yearlings, and she is in no hurry to repeat her husband's experience. Gleb has never cheated on Dina. For him, marriage is sacred. What was before the wedding it is already passed he said now I want to live only with you. And also, Gleb was generous, tender and affectionate, never raised his voice at her never limited her in anything, and she repaid him with treason. The water poured and poured, Dina rubbed herself with a washcloth, but could not wash away someone else's touch. Dina married Gleb quite unexpectedly even for herself. They met at a friend's birthday party. The guy turned out to be a friend of her close friend. Sweet and attentive, with clear blue eyes and an open smile, he conquered all the girls present but his choice stopped at Dina. She accepted the stranger's advances. Then she was going through a difficult period. She had just broken up with the love of her life, a former classmate Andrew. Perhaps they would not have broken up if Dina had not seen with her own eyes her lover kissing her best friend. It was all Catherine. Andre waved his hands. She, you could say, pounced on me, seduced me. And you couldn't fight back. I take it Dina sarcastically sniggered, or didn't really want to. The boy shrugged. The thing was that it was not the first time he had cheated on Dina. She had seen him with a fellow student before, but she had forgiven him then. Andre swore that it was a mistake, and that he loved only her Dina. Listen, if you feel bad with me, and you're always drawn to the left, then it's time for us, perhaps, to part. The girl made a verdict. Not to say that Andre was very upset. They had been dating since high school, and the guy was already tired of this relationship. Dina suffered. She hoped that Andre would come to his senses and come back. But he started dating Catherine. That's why Dina agreed that Gleb took her home, and even gave him his phone number. And a couple of days later, when the guy picked her up in a cool SUV, and a huge bouquet of white roses, grandmothers on the bench and opened their mouths when they saw such a miracle. Dina was convinced of the correctness of her choice. The better she got to know Gleb, the more she was convinced that she had not made a mistake. Gleb lived in a neighboring village, came to her by car and with fancy gifts. All the girls she knew envied Dina with black envy. Of course, Andrew found out about the new relationship of the former favorite, and even tried to return her, but Dina proudly pointed him to the door. Perhaps if he was more persistent, then something he would have succeeded. But Andrew was not distinguished by persistence, and Dina he wanted to return more for self-assertion. Well, it didn't work out so be it. Gleb did not waste time, and in three months made a girl a marriage proposal. Dina accepted the proposal. Dina, are you sure? Her mother, a calm and wise woman, asked her then. She tried not to impose her opinion on her daughter, not to pry into her relationship with her unsolicited advice, 
It's not just moonlit walks and trips to the resort, just recently Dina and Gleb went to the sea for two weeks, it's life. Every day you will have to see your husband cook and clean, sleep in the same bed with him. Are you ready for it, daughter? Mom, what a question. Of course, I'm ready I'm already 23 years old. Dina brushed it off. It's not about age. It just seems to me that you don't love Gleb as much as he loves you. You rather accept his love. Can you make him happy and be happy with him? Of course, mommy. I will be the happiest with him. He's the best. Laughed Dina. She had laughed then. But now for some reason she was crying. The cool water washed away her silent tears. Yes, Gleb was the best. He still was. But she had changed. To become with him really happy Dina could not. When Gleb found out that his wife was pregnant, he was incredibly happy. Any of her wishes was instantly realized. He was ready to get her a star from the sky. Dina gave birth in the best maternity hospital, lying in a separate comfortable room. Her husband never spared money and time for her. Gleb offered Dina to hire a nanny, so that his wife could rest. But Zanita, Dina's mother, offered her services. She worked in shifts and often came to her daughter and son-in-law to help. The mother would go for walks with Milana, Dina would clean or just rest. When Gleb was home, he also enjoyed babysitting his daughter. Milana grew up to be everyone's favorite, a very sweet and quiet girl. Dina, you are very lucky to have a husband. Mother said to her daughter, he treats you so well, loves you so much, cherishes you so much. Mom, how annoying he is with his love. Dina frowned. It seems to me that I live in some endless tearful melodrama. A sweet loving husband, a blonde daughter, a two-level apartment, a wife in a white apron and apple pie. The only thing missing is a housekeeper in uniform, and credits after each episode. Dina, don't be crazy. Dina's mother shook her head. Go out to work, daughter, to get rid of your stupid thoughts. It's all from monotony and idleness. Dina listened to her mother's words. She herself realized that, as they say, she was getting mad with fat, but she could not help it. The work, indeed had a sobering effect on Dina. She began to miss her husband, her daughter, and even her household chores. Gleb still tried to help her. If he came home earlier than his wife, he could easily cook dinner or clean the apartment. Zaneda also continued to help. Dina, is that you? You are unrecognizable, a real businesswoman. The young woman turned around at the familiar voice. Andre, she exclaimed. The former favorite seemed to have not changed at all for these five years. The same torn jeans and the same sly smile. The same laughing sparks in his green eyes. Except that the slight unshavenness increases in the corners of his lips, said that he was far from 18. Where are you from and where are you going? Asked the man, looking at the old acquaintance, yours. He nodded at the new foreign car the keys to which Dina was holding in her hands. My husband gave it to me to make it easier to get to work. The woman nodded. I was here on business, signing a contract. I have to drive all over the village, and also to the city. And my car is in repair, the man said. Let's sit somewhere and talk, Andre suggested, squinting slyly. They sat in the cafe for a long time and talked. Dina talked mostly, answering numerous questions of her old acquaintance. Andre spoke about himself in a streamlined way. He had recently arrived on business, he was single and had his own business. He did not specify what exactly he was doing. He said that it was boring, and would not be interesting to such a young and beautiful lady. Andre was showered with compliments and told about the fact that he had never met a girl he would love like Dina. You were my only true love, he said, looking his interlocutor straight in the eyes. What a pity that I realized it so late. If it were possible to take it all back Dina blushed, turned pale, and looked away. Andre became a breath of fresh air in her stable, established life. At first, they met as if by chance. Andre miraculously found himself wherever Dina was. Dina did not realize that she had told the man about her plans the day before. Later they began to call each other and plan their meetings. Dina herself did not notice how she found herself in Andre's bed. My love, could you lend me some money? Andre stretched lazily something I haven't calculated this month. It's just that I had to invest in business lately. There was a lot of spending. Sure, Andre, how much do you need? Dina asked, touching up her lips in front of the mirror in the hotel room. She was dumbfounded by the amount, but she found the money. After all, Andre had asked for money as a loan, not as a gift. 
Dina carefully climbed under the blanket and laid down beside her husband. She tried not to disturb him. She didn't want to communicate or feel his touch right now. She had been seeing Andre for several months now. This relationship, on the one hand, became for her an escape from the daily routine, but on the other hand kept her in constant tension. Dina was tired of lying to her husband, tired of hiding and pretending. Perhaps it's time to tell Gleb everything, he deserves to know the truth, she thought. But something in her relationship with Andre worried her. Something was clearly wrong. Dina didn't know what it was yet Dina closed her eyes. I need some sleep. She decided, it's good that Gleb fell asleep while I was in the shower. Her husband was lying next to her, turned away. Gleb looked into the darkness and did not know what to do next. Today he saw his wife with another. Now he was convinced of what he had long suspected. But he loved Dina Gleb's side. The morning is wiser in the evening, he decided. We need to get some sleep. And then, you know, Milana was so surprised to see the hedgehog. She wanted to pet him, you know. Zaneda, Dina's mother, laughed, remembering the walk with her granddaughter. Dina, something's wrong. You've been looking a bit preoccupied lately. No, mom, everything's fine. The woman waved away, I'm a little tired. I haven't told you the most interesting things yet, exclaimed Zaneda. Guess who we saw today? Mother, what kind of childish jokes are these? How can I guess? Dina frowned. There are several thousand people in our village. Hint, this guy once broke your heart, sighed the woman. That's probably what he's doing now. Andre, or what? Dina visibly tensed. What did you say about someone's heart? Imagine Milana ran away to the playground in the park, and I went into the shade, under a tree. And there was a couple sitting on a bench, a man and a woman. I stood near them, but they couldn't see me. The bushes covered me. The girl kept telling the guy that he had promised her a car and a lot of money, where it all was. And he told her that everything would be just a little bit more. He says that everything is going according to plan, and very soon he will get a lot of money. His rich mistress will pay for everything, if she doesn't want him to leak all the dirt on her to her husband. And then they get up, oh. My god, it's your Andre. They didn't even notice me already someone this crook is courting, can you imagine? The local Alfonso. Dina, what's wrong with you? The woman jumped up to her pale daughter, who slumped helplessly in her chair. Does he really mean you? She shook her head. What have you done? About me, mom. About me, Dina sobbed, and her mother stroked her hair and sighed. Dina and Andre were sitting opposite each other in a cafe. The man was smiling slyly. The woman suddenly shivered as if from the cold, although it was even hot in the room. She suddenly remembered that Andre had never told her about love, never took her to his house, was not interested in how she lived, and how she felt. He was interested in her money, her husband's fortune and work, his firm. Shall we go to a hotel? Andrew winked. I rented us a room. The champagne is cooling. I'm not going anywhere with you again, Andre. We're splitting up, the woman said quietly. I have a husband and a child. What about your words of love? What about our passionate dates? What? The husband's money defeated feelings. The man said angrily. Dina looked up at Andre. She had never seen him like this before. Before this incident, the man skillfully disguised himself seemed cheerful, sweet and caring. What has money got to do with it? She asked. Do you think I don't know that you married him for money of course? He has his own company, and cars he changes twice a year, and housing, and a huge house is building I understand you. Of course I understand. Don't you dare say that? Gleb is a wonderful man. He's the best husband and father. Dina exclaimed. And it's not about money at all. Not everything is measured in money. But you don't understand that, of course. I don't. Then why did you jump into bed with me from your best husband? Laughed Andrew. Fool. Because. Extreme. Probably. Wanted. Bored. Whispered Dina. You've always been an idiot. Andrew scornfully grinned. That then I pulled all your friends behind your back. That now I twist you as I please. People like you. Mad with fat. You want love and passion. You know nothing about me. We meet in hotels. You pay for it all. You believe in a phantom business. That the car I sold six months ago is still being repaired. It's a sin not to take advantage of such a fool. Dina turned pale. The puzzle had finally come together completely. Now she clearly understood why she couldn't trust Andre completely. Because he was lying. Everything she knew about him wasn't true. And she just didn't want to know the truth. Who was that girl you met yesterday on the bench in the park? Dina asked quietly. 
are you following me exclaimed andre well come on we have no more secrets from each other the cards are already revealed this is my girlfriend i promised her a trip to bali and all the money i borrowed from you lost so she's nervous by the way do you want to give us some money for the trip and i need the car no i don't dina exclaimed getting up you haven't paid me the last debt yet it was not a question sit down andre grabbed the interlocutor's hand you don't want your husband to see an exciting adult movie starring you do you and i can send him a few episodes so think about it you have three days either the money or gleb will finally find out who he's really living with now you can go andre let go of her hand shoving into it a piece of paper with the date place and amount when Dina counted the number of zeros, she felt dizzy. It said $100,000. Dina drove aimlessly through the streets of their small cozy village. She couldn't go home. Gleb was waiting for her there. He would hug her again and make tea with mint. He would say that she was tired, poor thing. He would put Milana to bed and turn off the nightlight, trying not to disturb her, and lie down next to her, adjusting her blanket. And she at this time will desperately try to appear asleep Gleb, her ideal husband, loving and caring. How can she look him in the eyes? How can she get into bed with him? Gleb looked out the window. He saw that Dina's car arrived half an hour ago. His wife hadn't gotten out of it yet. The man sighed. Something had to be done about it. Dina slipped into the bathroom, taking her phone with her. She wanted to delete all correspondence with Andre everything that reminded her of him in any way. A napkin with the numbers and meeting place written down fell out of the bag along with the phone. Gleb picked up the napkin. The requests are growing. He sighed. What are you doing? Gleb stood on the threshold of their room. Packing my things, the woman lowered her eyes. I can't lie to you anymore. I can't look you in the eyes. I'm not worthy of your love, Gleb. I deceived you. Met with another man behind your back. I wanted passion. Emotions bright. I got it all in full. I thought I'd fallen in love with him. I was tormented and hurt. It's a pity I realized too late what Andre was really like. I have no forgiveness. I realize that betrayal is unforgivable. So, the best thing I can do is to leave. I won't claim anything. You can see your daughter when you want. Tears flowed down Dina's cheeks, but the woman didn't seem to notice them. Dina, I've taken a trip to the sea for you and Milana. For a month. You'll rest, relax, think. I'll come back in a couple of weeks. There are some things I need to sort out here. We'll have time to weigh and think things over. We'll talk then. Let's take it easy, wife. A lot of things happen in life. The next morning, Gleb took his wife and daughter to the airport and went to meet Andre. The conversation between them did not take much time. After it, Gleb had a flash drive, which he immediately, in the cafe, broken through into the burning fireplace. After this conversation, Andre had a couple of bruises and a spoiled mood, seasoned with Gleb's threats. He had a lot of necessary acquaintances, including in the police. Dina walked barefoot on the warm snow-white sand, her heels caressed by the sea waves. Milana was splashing around her in the clear water, mastering the lap. Gleb held Dina's hand, and she gently laid her head on his shoulder. Yesterday they had had a serious and very difficult conversation. Much was said, much was discussed. The spouses decided to start all over again. Without offenses, hush mouths and lies. Of course, it would be difficult for both of them to forget what had happened, but it was worth a try. They had a daughter growing up, and Gleb, despite everything, still loved Dina. And Dina finally realized that she loved her husband, so perfect and so dear.